Did you know that you can trade only 0.4% of all shares in the world? According to the World Bank, there are 150 million companies in the world, of which only 600,000 are listed anywhere on stock exchanges. By the end of this video, you will know why so few companies can be traded, and then I will show you the new technologies that allows business owners to enable trading of private securities of their companies and allows investors to access them. My friends, welcome to Stobox Insights, a video series about innovations in raising capital, law and finance, brought to you by a professional consulting company. On this channel, we have dozens of other videos on business fundraising and investing, so make sure to subscribe and check them out. Also, please like this video if you will find it useful, insightful or at least entertaining. Let's go! The reason why it is so hard to make your shares traded is fairly straightforward. It is the cost. To allow investors to trade your shares, you have to conduct an IPO on a stock exchange. The cost of going public varies on the case-by-case -case basis and depending on the country. According to the PwC research, the cost of a small IPO on the US is $7.3 million. This figure does not include annual compliance costs, which can also reach millions of dollars. With such a cost, it's no wonder that most businesses avoid going to stock exchange. The reason why IPO cost is so high is in the legal requirements to go public. You need to prepare and register a long and complicated document called prospectus. You need to undergo audits. You need to pay investment banker fees for the so-called underwriting, which is required by most stock exchanges. Furthermore, you need to file annual reports as a public company and have a bigger legal and compliance staff, which is the reason why the cost becomes so high. The impact of companies not going public is that only high net worth individuals and institutions can invest in most businesses. Therefore, most people don't have access to some of the most lucrative and profitable deals, and business owners have limited access to capital and often have to accept unfavorable terms offered by banks and investment firms. We have a set of videos in which we cover the IPO cost and the techniques to reduce it tenfold and to get financing without going to banks and venture capital. Watch these videos and subscribe to the channel to learn more about this topic. In this specific video, we will focus on the topic of liquidity, that is, how you can make your shares traded from day one as a private company without high compliance cost of an IPO. The solution, unsurprisingly, is decentralization. Instead of going to the stock exchange, you can leverage new technologies that allow you to create the so-called liquidity pools that will enable trading of your shares by investors. Let's discuss in detail how it works and what you need to implement such a solution. The first step is to tokenize your shares. It means that your shares should exist in the form of tokens on blockchain. The technology of decentralized trading was first introduced for cryptocurrencies and currently it supports only the trading of assets that exist in the form of tokens on blockchain. The tokenization of securities has become quite popular in the last few years and has been implemented even by such reputable institutions as the World Bank, Austrian government, HSBC and a few other large investment banks. It is accessible for smaller companies as well, and we at Stobox provide technology and consulting necessary to tokenize shares or other securities. Notice that not all types of tokens suit regulated securities. For example, Bitcoin can be traded and held by anybody, which is legally something that you cannot do with shares. So it is crucial to choose the right technology stack. Stobox provides a protocol for token that includes all the necessary features that you need for regulated securities. On this channel, we have dozens of videos about the tokenization of securities and business fundraising. So if you are interested in the topic, make sure to subscribe and watch them. If you have people in your network for whom this information may be useful, please share this video with them so that they could find out about the exciting opportunity that tokenization provides. After you tokenized your shares, the next step is to create a liquidity pool. You can imagine it as a literal pool in which you have your shares and some other currency that can be traded against, such as dollars or euros. To create a liquidity pool, you have to put a certain number of shares and a certain amount of currency into the pool. 
For example, if you put 100,000 shares and 100,000 dollars into the pool, the price for your share will be one dollar. Now, let's imagine that somebody buys 10,000 shares. Now in the pool, you have 90,000 shares and 110,000 dollars. This brings the price for your share to one dollar 22 cents. This way, the liquidity pool and the so-called DS-swap technology enable any private company at any stage of your operations to make your shares traded so that you could attract more investors and more funding. If it is unclear to you what it means to put your shares and dollars into the pool, or it is unclear how to tokenize your shares and what it means, don't worry, because there are simple interfaces and our technical support and expertise that can assist you with all aspects of the process. Before we proceed, please, if this video was useful and expanded your view of what is possible, like it to support the channel. The question you probably have at this stage is how this decentralized trading is possible from a legal perspective, given that usually you need to go through complex and onerous procedures in order to allow investors to trade your shares. The answer is that regulation creates complex procedures specifically for centralized trading venues, where you have an operator who makes all the decisions regarding the exchange and who has to be licensed to ensure the integrity and safety of the market. And then the regulator says that if you want your shares to be traded on this centralized venue, you have to pass through these complex and long procedures. The legislation does not limit private transactions. That is, if two investors, you and me, have privately negotiated a trade without going to stock exchange, this is not heavily regulated. Liquidity pool in this case is not the exchange with many securities and a central operator. It is a transaction between the issuer, that is you as a company, and your investor, which you conduct using the liquidity pool as a technical solution. And the provider of this technology, such as Stobox, is also not an exchange or a regulated venue. It provides only the technology, but you operate the liquidity pool and you are responsible for everything that happened there. So the provider of the technology does not make any decisions that require it to be regulated. Therefore, decentralized trading of securities, when you have a liquidity pool, is not regulated by the legislation about stock exchanges, so you don't need to actually become a public company and go through all that complex compliance procedures to enable such trading of your shares. Please, tell me in the comments your thoughts on whether it works from a legal perspective and what are the potential pitfalls. The question you might have is, what benefit do you receive from creating a liquidity pool for your shares? There are three important benefits. One, you can raise more capital because now you get access to smaller investors, not only to banks and investment funds. You can get investment for people who want to put even $500. Secondly, a liquidity pool allows you to sell your own shares as a business owners and do a partial exit to benefit from the growth of your business. Thirdly, as you are getting more people who are trading your shares and looking for your company, you get higher exposure and get a community who can help you to move your business forward, provide you with an advice, distribute your posts in social media and become your brand evangelist. I am interested to hear your perspective on whether it makes sense to allow investors to trade your shares. Please, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. To make this more clear and visual, I want to provide a practical demo so that you could see how it looks like. Currently on the screen you can see the investor interface of Stobox Digital Securities Dashboard, a technical infrastructure that allows your investors to purchase shares and trade them. You will have your own dashboard, branded in your colors and with your logo that you operate. An investor has to register in this dashboard and pass the identity verification procedure. Now. After verifying their identity, investors can invest in your company in a very straightforward way in just a few minutes. An investor has to choose the investment amount, digitally sign the investment agreement, and then has an option to pay with either wire transfer or crypto. Also, investors can buy or sell your shares using the liquidity pool as is shown on the screen. You click the buy or sell button, specify how much you want to buy or sell set the parameters of the trade or use the default ones, and then confirm the transaction with your private key. And that's all. The flow is very simple and intuitive. If you don't or your investor doesn't have blockchain wallet to store your tokenized securities, this is not a problem, as you can create a wallet in just two minutes. 
I hope you found this video useful and it expanded your understanding of what is possible at all. If you are a business owner, watch our other videos to find out more about how the tokenization works and how you can use it. If you are an investor, subscribe to our social media and the mailing list on the website to be aware about the companies whom we help with the tokenization and the securities of which you can purchase and trade. Also, please like and share this video if you found it insightful or at least entertaining. Stay tuned and see you in the next episode.